Thank you for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today we have another beer I've never had any... Actually, never mind. I take that back. I've had one beer by this brewery. Uh, it was their Jack Dore. Um, it is Pretty Things Beer and Ale Project out of Westport, Massachusetts. And this is their Meadow Lark IPA, which is 7% alcohol by volume. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Alcohol by volume. Anyway, um... This beer, just so everyone knows, was actually bottled back in February, so it's a little bit older than I want IPAs to be. I got it from craftbeerkings.com. I got it about a month ago, so I probably should have drank it right then, but still when I got it, it was a little outside of the window that I like, but we'll see. So that disclaimer with this. So it might not be totally indicative of what the, the beer is typically like. I already see that it's pouring pretty orangish which means there's a nice malt presence in the beer. See, it's very nice. Uh, pretty large bubbles. It's got a pretty present head, very carbonated. Um, I see a lot coming up from the bottom. Um, like I said, very orangey. Let's see what we can get on the nose. Ooh, um, a lot of grapefruit aspect in there. Grapefruit, um, the actual fruit of it, the peel. Oh, it smells good. It's got a little bit of a nice malty nose to it. A little caramelly uh, with the malt. It has a little bit of kind of like a hay kind of wheat type um, finish on the nose as well. But it smells relatively vibrant and it smells like the type of IPA that I really like, which is, you know, a nice citrusy, um, medium bitter uh, IPA with a nice malt backbone to it um, with a little bit of carameliness on the finish. So we'll see what it tastes like. The hops have died down a little bit, but it's still good. I get a very sweet aspect on it. It's kind of like a, a tangerine type uh, mouthfeel, but with a little bit of sugar added to it. I'm sorry, not mouthfeel, flavor. Um, I'm getting a, yeah, medium bitterness. The bitterness is not a control. I get a little bit of a grassy aspect as well with it. Yeah, and that nice kind of caramelly, malt finishes in there as well. This is a solid beer. I really wish I would have tried it, you know, very, very fresh, but uh, part of that was outside of my control, and, you know, one month of it was within my control, but I, I kind of screwed that up because I didn't look at the at the date code. I figured it'd be better longer, but it's still good, and I am still going to drink this, and uh, it is relatively cold at the moment, so I'm assuming that as it heats up a little bit more. It's going to be even more vibrant with the citrusy notes. So should be even better in a little bit. But this this is a good one. And um, Pretty Things, this is the second thing I've had by you. And uh, the first one I remember enjoying, the Jack Door, was a Saison. And uh, I really enjoyed that. It was very clean and crisp. And this is a very nice uh, malt backbone, citrusy uh, IPA. So... Glad I finally got to taste it. Uh, pretty things. Great job. And everybody, thank you so much for checking out this episode. If there are beers that you want to see me do for this video or for the actual podcast, uh, go ahead and send in an email, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com, and we'll see what we can do to accommodate you. Or you can send them in to me as well if you want to go that route, because um, maybe we won't be able to get it where we are, because we can't get everything on the East Coast, you know? Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out, and go have yourself an awesome beer.